Welcome back everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We're in the uh, testing area still. And I just noticed, look at that. There's a... Uh, we're inside of some kind of a cavern and there's a... Uh, well, sort of a picnic area there. It's very bizarre and a... Light that looks like the sun, I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, check out the rest of the entries on this uh, computer. Please advise. So, at Dr. Richardson's uh, request, we opened one of the kennels from our latest shipment. The dog inside, and I use that term very loosely, appeared to be suffering from a truly horrendous case of mange. And upon being released, it immediately attacked, killed, and attempted to swallow whole specialist acres. Luckily, the situation has, for now at least, contained itself, as SBC Acres was a very large man and the creature has choked to death. <laughs> Does anyone know anything about the shipment? Please advise. Department in lockdown. In light of the large number of fatalities due to the latest shipment of experimental test subjects, the, sh uh, the shipping department is going into lockdown. I give you my personal assurance that as soon as this plague of monsters has been dealt with, I will work overtime to get your deliveries to you in a timely and efficient manner. As I am currently the only surviving member of the shipping department, however, there, are still uh, there will still be some delays. Until then, Dr. Kalis in X-13 has the postcard for this area. Skippy, sole survivor. Regarding shipping department lockdown. In our latest supervisory meeting, we discussed the possible benefits of the small shipping accident. Uh, we are considering studying the unexpected specimen's behavior by releasing them into our test area before removing them from the X-8 facility. The shipping department will remain in lockdown until a decision has been reached. Dr. Adam Figgis, MD, PhD, DVM, DDM, DD. Test supervisor. <laughs> Oh yeah, and apparently that uh, weapon is required. Maybe I should use that. Uh, Sonic Emitter Revelation. Yeah, bonus damage versus robots. Oh, it's EMP, I see. So I shouldn't use it against uh, lobotomites at all. See? I didn't read stuff, and I paid for it. Well, let's use it. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know what the hell that is, but... Don't want to lick it. Holy crap, what happened to you? Ugh. Now, I've seen a picture of Fallout 4 of this guy. He looks fantastic. I'm really looking forward to all the details in that game and just how good the, uh, you know, wasteland will look like. It's gonna be cool. Alright. Door to X8 Central Facility. Oh, that's here. Okay. So we've done everything here, I guess. Now we have to activate the test terminal. Enter institutional data retrieval. Now, residential cyber dog guard test. The parameters for this test are currently incomplete. Beware of dog. <laughs> uh, okay, residential test facility. Wait a second. Oh, wait a second. It must completely turn everything around, see? Because this door led to the school before, now it leads to the residential test facility, so... All of that must be on some kind of an elevator, holy crap. Well, it's like a... <laughs> this thing isn't doing that much damage to him. He's a pretty big boy. Ha! Take that, Gabe. Mobius, 
Holy crap! It is. <laughs> oh damn! So am I actually hurt? I think I am. Yes, I am. Oh, well, that was quite interesting, <laughs> quite funny. Uh, well, that was Gabe. He likes a lot of digging spots. Audio sample: Gabriel Spark. <laughs> Oh man, it's gonna be ridiculous when we get back. Let's drink some more lovely sunset sarsaparillas. Holy shit! Now are these? You have found a recalibration file for the sonic emitter. Taking the answer, we know. Oh, these are so cool! Look at these. Robo scorpion pincer. Oh. What the hell is going on? This thing sucks! Where's my lovely holo rifle? Yeah, much better! Much better! He's so, so cute! Ow, ow! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! These are so bloody cute! <laughs> I want one as a pet! Hello! <laughs> Robo scorpions. Lots of energy cells. Not opposed to that. Whoa, he completely. Yeah, exploded. Alright. Instead of, you know, unlike just partially exploding. Damn it. Get them! Get the stingers! What are you do- What are you doing? Shoot! Oh no, don't tell me the game bugged out now. What are you doing? Shoot! <laughs> I think we're stuck in vats now. Well, that's never happened before to me. That's bizarre. Can I... Oh, that was bizarre. And another one comes over. Ow. I have to remember that they just go boom. Well, I'm kind of thirsty now. Purify water, because I've drank so much sunset sarsaparilla. Right, so we've done that. <laughs> These are so cool. Look at them. <laughs> Robo scorpions. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, wait! It's the actual scorpions talking! Oh, that's why it sort of stops and sometimes it's more than just one speaking. And <laughs> they're all giving me energy cells. The big one is also cute. Oh. Well, come over here. Come on. I know you see me. Critical strike. Yeah. <laughs> oh, only nine energy cells. He was a bit stingy, wasn't he? Okay, what's in this other area? Oh, well, in this other area. Ah, shh. Be quiet. Have I actually hit it? I haven't! I haven't hit it even once! Come on. Man, this hollow rifle is amazing. 
absolutely amazing. Not really my favorite DLC, that uh, Sierra Madre thing. But bloody hell do you get a good uh, oops, uh, weapon out of it. What the hell is all that? That looks like a some sort of transformation area. That would be cool. Deluxe chemistry set. There appears to be enough chemical components available to create a small quantity of chems. Assuming one has the knowledge to do such a thing. <laughs> Science 25 required. Uh, psycho buff on man. No, let's do stim bags. Five stim bags. Not bad. Not bad. Well, let's see what we can do here. That'd be cool. Lots of ammunition everywhere. Splicing facility. Ooh. Biomechanical splicing rules. Due to recent government mandated cutbacks to our funding, only three experiments may be performed per day. We do not have infinite kennel space here in X8. Only one cyber dog beyond these, uh, those needed for the testing process may be created. Clear any and all debris from the platform before conducting any splicing experiments. Experiments are not allowed outside the X8 facility. Finally, security must be disabled before experiments can be run. Splice robot and dog, lobo lobotomite and robot, lobotomite and dog. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> well, it's just gonna be a. This is gonna be a cyber dog, right? Yeah. And it's gonna attack me, probably. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Roxy! Oh! Hi there, puppy! <laughs> Go ahead by the entrance. Good dog. Come with me, girl. Ah, oh, man. Cool. I have my... It's my own cyber dog. Oh, look at it. Look at that leg. Jeez. There's not much of it left, really. Ah, oh, good dog. Good dog. Come on. Yes. Right, let's splice some more. Clear splicing area. What? What do you mean? Kill Roxy then? Well, I, I have it auto saved anyway. Clear splicing area. Uh oh. Is it? Ah, she's still here. Okay. All right. Splice lobotomite and <laughs> lobotomite and dog. <laughs> what are we gonna get? Oh no. What's gonna come out? Yep, I thought so. Had his experiment go horribly awry. <laughs> that, um, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and he still had his stuff with him. Caravan shotgun. Oh, man. Well, let's clear the area. Clear splicing area. <laughs> I like doing stuff like this. Alright, let's see. Lobotomite and robots. It's probably just gonna make one of those... I don't know, actually. Whoa, he's got that axe! I don't think he's gonna be very happy to see... Oh! Am I? Wait. I feel different. Awake. Alive for the first time ever. Hello? What is this strange new world around me? What does it hold in store for a dreamer such as myself? Whoa! No, no, no! Hello? Hello? No! No! Ah! What does it store? <laughs> what does it have in store for me? <laughs> oh, well, that was sad. Sorry about that, Robo Brain. It was the first time he could actually, f well, feel something. Well, I can't do any more experiments. Let's try it. Let's see what it says, actually. Clear splicing area. Damn. Oh, is it still gonna let us? Yeah, insufficient supplies, okay. Alright. Well, this is quite a cool area. Very sort of creepy. Uh, beer. Footlocker. Pre-war money! Hmm. Yeah, good boy. Good boy, Roxy. Oh, good girl. Why the hell are you just standing up? What are you doing, dog? Okay. Heal. 
What's in that crate? Ooh. I like that. I like that. We're almost overloaded, so we have to get back home and place those things in the sink. And we have not only a dog, but a, an opera singer uh, for the voice, I believe. <laughs> That's gonna be ridiculous. Big Mountain. Alright, let's go back to Big Mountain. I mean... Huh. Oh no! Oh no! Roxy's gone. Please stop milling about. Really? Well, I mean, she's not gone. She's probably back in the uh, back inside still because she's not allowed to leave. Oh, Right, so let's see. Well, I want to go back to the think tank first. So that's what we're gonna do. Where's that large scorpion? Or robo scorpion's gone around just like I did. More sunset sarsaparillas. Oh. Wow, look at this place. That is very cool. What's going on? Probably that scorpion behind me still. Man. I don't want radiation. Oh, these are houses here. Ugh. It's following me. Sort of. <laughs> A bit confused. I'm missing like crazy. Yeah, it's it's not really gonna work. I need the firepower for that. Alright. While I like how this area looks at night, it's kinda well not only creepy, but uh, I can't see anything. <laughs> so let's go back to Big Mountain and see what we can do with these things. We've gotten why is the the grass blue here. It's probably another sort of... I don't know. Side effect of whatever they're doing. <laughs> what was that? Sounded like laser fire. Alright. Let's go to the sink. See what we can do there. <laughs> Change the voice. Alrighty. Might I be of service, sir? Oh, yeah. Um... Oh, no. Very good, sir. Wait, where do I do the voice? Well, there's the book sheet. Ah, good day, citizen. Yeah. Library Processing Unit 232.7 is online and ready to eradicate sedition. Eradicate sedition? Of course, citizen. That's my duty and sole joy in life. All those books from before the war, full of seditious, treasonous, complicated thoughts. Just dump them in and lickety-split, I'll have them pulped, scrubbed clean, and pressed out again clean and white, and sedition-free. Oh, can you do anything besides processing books? What good is eradicating sedition if the malcontents have ready access to the means to make more, citizen? I could also process pencils and clipboards. Wait a moment. Pencil processors offline? Pencil processors offline? Apologies, citizen. It seems traitors have absconded with that module. <laughs> if you can find a backup copy of the module, I will happily eradicate your ability to create seditious literature. <laughs> so you make blank books. What's the point of that? Blank books are better for the mind, citizen. Real science by real men in lab coats has proved that introducing outside thoughts confuses the brain. Blank books encourage the reader not to question, but to blindly and zealously accept what's put in front of him. Also, I suppose you could use them to keep a journal. Hmm. I know books that aren't blank that do that, but those books are our last legacy of the time before. You can't destroy them. Citizen. That sounds dangerously seditious. If my reindoctrination module was installed, I'd take care of that for you. 
Sadly, that system was cut for budget concerns, so you'll have to perform your own indoctrination. Now, to begin with, you'll need a cage that can fit over your head and a sack of mole rats. <laughs> Playing books, huh? Yeah, I think I can find a use for that. Now you're thinking like a citizen, citizen. <laughs> okay. Questions are dangerously close to independent thought, citizen. Nothing right now. Goodbye. Stay loyal, citizen. <laughs> well, we're going to continue next time anyway. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye-bye.